Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can do GitHub automation using Python. So first let's discuss that what are the tasks that we are going to automate. So I have divided those tasks into two sections. First is getting the information and second is creating stuff. Okay. So first let's see the getting the information section so if you want to know that how many repositories and what repositories are present on github related to a specific language we can know that we have a command for that if you want to know that how many repositories are present in your github account same we have the command for that now let's come to a specific repository if you want to know that what are the files present in a specific repository of yours, you can know that. If you want to know that what are the number of stars, number of forks or what are the number of traffic coming to your repository, you can know that using just one Python command. Okay, so this was the section for knowing the information. Now let's get to the second section where we'll see how to create stuff. So I'll show you how to create a repository, how to push the file in a repository, how to commit, how to add the text file, everything. And I'll also show you how to delete file from a repository using Python. Okay, so enough of talking now. Let's get to a notebook and start writing a code. Okay, so now we are into a editor, but before writing anything, we must first install the package required, which is pygithub. So open one command prompt window, then just write pip install pygithub. Make sure that this py and this g is capital. Okay, so for me, this package is already installed, so I will close this. Now let's come to the first section where we'll import our package, which is uh, pygithub. Okay, so everything working fine till now. So let's come to the second section where we we'll log in to our GitHub account. So just write uh, a variable, then GitHub, and then write your username and password here okay just write your username in this string first string and second string as your password i'm not gonna write here because obviously i don't want to leak my email id and password okay so now let's create a variable repository and then uh, let's create repos only so we'll do g dot search uh, search repository just a second search repository then we'll write the query as uh, we want to classify on the basis of language so we'll write language here and then the language here is python okay so let's run this one so we are getting an error there is nothing as it should be repositories okay so this runs successfully now let's write now let's create a for loop so that we can print every repository in a separate line okay so let's run this block here now there you can see these are the uh, repositories with the language as python there will be like thousands of them so I'm gonna stop this one okay so now let's move on and see that what are the name of repositories present in my github account okay so what I'll do is for repo in g dot get user So there you can see these are the repositories that are present on my github account so let me take some time and explain you what is happening here so uh, first of all we are getting all the repositories so g.get user so from 
my username then we are getting the repositories from dot get repos then we are selecting each of that uh, repository list and then printing only the name of that specific repository so there you go these are the number of repositories and the name of those repositories present in my github account okay so now let's focus on a specific repository let's say that i want to know the information for let's say that difference between two similar looking images okay so what i'll do is uh, first of all i'll write repo let's create a variable repo and then g dot get g was the variable that we have created in which uh, our login was saved so get repo from my account we are getting that specific repository so i'll write first of all my username and eh? i should throw it 2605 and then i'll paste the repository name this should be a string okay so let's run this one and we are getting no error so now let's see what are the number of stars present on this uh, specific repository so stargazers it should be gazers okay stargazers then let's run this one and we are getting an error because stargazers is not defined actually it should be stargazers count i haven't worked a lot on this package so cut me some slag here uh, this is not a function so there you can see in this repository i am only having three star okay so now let's get to the second part which is to know that what is the traffic coming to my repository so let's create traffic variable and then we'll simply do repo dot get the repo is this repository uh, variable here repo dot get view traffic traffic and let's run this and again we are getting an error get view traffic is not defined it views traffic i guess and let's run our traffic variable actually our traff variable okay now there you can see this is the uh, count of viewers getting to my repository on that specific uh, date so there you can see the timestamp is the date and this is the view count okay so now let's move to the second section where we'll see that what are the files present on a specific repository let's again create a variable content now this should be content okay so repo which was the variable for this repository repo dot get content it should be contents actually get contents let's run this to see whether there is an error and there is an error uh, there should be a blank string inside okay so now let's create a for loop again so that we can extract all the um, files from that repository so for content Content, let's say file in content and then we'll simply print our content file here okay there you can see i am only having three files two other pictures and one is the python file this was the project in which i have used a python package which will automatically detect the difference between two images so if you want you can watch that video the link will be provided in the i section okay now our first section is over where we extract the information from github now let's get to the second section where we'll create or push files on our github repository okay so first of all let's see that how we can create a repository on github using python so first of all let's create a variable user and then user is equal to g dot get user so we are getting the user from our g variable which was used to log in to our account now let's create a repo variable and simply do user dot create it should be create here create 
uh, repo and then the name of the repository here let's say test okay so let's run this one now there you can see if I go back to my github account and go to my repositories page so there you can see we are having a test repository created but if you click on that repository you won't be having any file for now so let's push some of the files into our repository so we'll do repo dot create a file and then uh, let's say we want to create a txt file so test.txt this will be the file name and then we'll write what will be the commit let's only write commit here and then we'll write what will be the data present inside that text file so we'll so we'll simply write this is text this is test no whatever it is let's run this and if we go back to our repository and reload this page you will see that a test.txt file is created the commit is commit and let's open our text.txt and there you can see this eis test <laughs> okay so we have created a repository we have pushed pushed a file into that repository so now let's see how we can delete a file from a repository let's take the example of the same repository and the same file here so i'll go somewhat back okay now let's go back to our notebook and write the command so we'll create a cont variable and then we'll get repo okay so now here we have created a cont variable and we are selecting the test.txt file from our test repository so let's run this and get cont is not defined because it should be get contents not content okay so let's run this and we are getting an error no commit found for ref test uh, okay, so this is the commit here Th This parameter is for commit here. I haven't worked that much on this package So I will get some errors. No commit found for refer commit Okay So what was the commit here? C-O-M-M-I-T. This is what I'm writing here Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward this because I'll see that what is the error here. Okay, so sorry for the interruption. Uh, actually, we don't really need that parameter reference. So first we select the repository which was test and then we select our test.txt file which was present in that test repository and then we have written this command repo which was this repository dot delete file with this as path cont this variable having this test dot txt file path then this is the commit that we are doing i really don't know that what this cont dot sha is and then this is the branch if you are having multiple branches in your repository you can define branches but for me it was having only one branch which was master here okay so i have provided this master and then executed this command so there you can see harshit roy 2605 remove that file with the commit as remove test okay so this was it this was a short video in which we have tried to automate some of the commands of github Okay, so this is it and I'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome. Okay, so meet you there. Bye-bye.